The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, good morning and welcome to the last webinar for Top Solid 2020 New What's New. Okay, in this webinar, we're going to go over some of the new improvements for Top Solid Electrode, uh, Strip, and Progress. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in to the question section of the interface. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy learning about the new improvements. Okay, so for Top Solid Electrode, um, right off the bat, the drilling detection command has been significantly improved in terms of performance uh, with regards to time savings of up to about 75% compared to previous versions. Uh, just as a recap, the command I'm talking about here has to do with this command here, drilling detection. It automatically looks for and finds all possible drillings to remove from the design so that you can uh, quickly or more quickly make your electrodes, okay? Um, if we go to do a preview, for example, those are all the drillings it found. If I hit the arrow to the right, it will automatically use the remove command to remove all or as many as possible that are geometrically possible to remove to again, simplify this model to make electro design faster. Okie doke. Let's keep on going. Um, the total height, uh, you know what, we'll, uh, We'll do total height and orbital all at once. Let's go ahead and delete these things and get out of this. So uh, we've added an improvement to the orbiting electrode as well as the, uh, actually, let me back up a sec. We ordered, we added an improvement to shell creation. Uh, can I show it on this one? Let's have a quick look. You know what, I'm gonna go back to this other one right quick. And let's look here, okay? So let's say we wanted to make an electrode for this part of the pocket down here. So let's go ahead and create our shell. And you know, like usual, you can of course select edges, um, select faces, whatever. You can see that I am dragging the point around in order to get the profile I'm looking for. You can select the edges as well, it's up to you. I like dragging, I think it's fun. Now, with regards to this, we don't have a good shell yet, okay, because we need to close the bottom also. All right, but now we need to deal with this. So in here's the new improvement. I can simply select the edges that I wanna close. I can fill them, you can see it's bubbling them out or I can extend them. And you can see it just squares them off. It extends the surrounding faces. Can do the same thing with this area here. I select the edges, it's just clearing them all off. And now I have my perfect shell. And from there, of course, you can create your electrode. So let's just finish this trode. If we go here. And we take this shell, for example, I'm going to flip this thing around just so we can see it a little bit more easily, because this is also a great example of following the draft. So you see on that back side, there's some draft that we're following. Don't need to go too far with it. Maybe now we want to add a secondary extension. When we add the secondary extension, there's also a new feature here to add fillets along these sharp edges. So just to strengthen it a little bit, right? And then here, of course, set this for as high as you want. And then you can create your final electrode, okay? Last thing about this is another new improvement, something called total height. So you can either set the Z length of the base back here. So I can say I want that to be 25, for example, which then gives my overall height some kind of bogus size. So maybe you'd pre prefer to round this up to a good standard overall height. Okay, so that's about three or four new improvements all in one shot. And there is your electrode. Okay. 
So from here, we'll close this. We're going to go on to this next one, and we'll talk about the orbiting electrodes. So we're going to work on building an electrode for this detail here. So we'll start by making the shell as usual. Then select this edge, then select this edge, and then I'm going to close this, right? So I'm going to close it like so. And if we look, if we're on extend, you see it just extends that to a point. However, if I do fill, I can play with an offset level. Which depends on how much you want to fill it by. Okay. Green check. From there, we're going to make the base of the electrode. So we can select that. You can choose how big, how small you need this to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here. Oh, pardon me. Go to the right place. I'm going to make a dynamic section passing through the center of that to talk about the new improvement here. Uh, because I have a cut, I can orient it straight at it. Now, for making the orbiting electrode, this is where the new improvement is. There is a new mode for orbiting. Okay. If I go into here, tap F1. The original orbiting trode shifted the XY values, shifted keeping the same radius sizes, but kept Z's nominal. The new mode is called translated, and this is only applicable to eroding shapes of revolution. Okay? The one thing that is important that it does check against is it does check against what the minimum orbit is to get this shape into this circular feature. So it measures from here to here and tells you what that minimum size is. And let me show you what I mean. If I select this as my eroding shape, right, and I go to translated, and let me turn this off, I get an error, and it says the undersizing should be greater than dot four millimeters because if I was to measure from here to here, that is dot four millimeters. So if I go dot four one, for example, now that is small enough to get in. Now, the thing to understand about this is, again, Z values are staying nominal and we're shifting the XY values. Okay, so that is that new improvement. Alrighty. So we did the total height already. I'm just looking through my notes one sec. All right, so base orientation. Here, I'm just going to load a video for this. So here we have an electrode. This is for a uh, gate being put into this mold. So we're going to define the origin. We're going to choose the electrode shape. And you can see that depending on which option you select here, it can be based on the direction or based on the origin direction. You can square up the stock that this is being cut out of. Okay? Then, of course, you can shift, do whatever you want with the base. My total height we spoke about. Blend edges we spoke about. Let's talk about uh, electro detailing next. When creating the electrode, the new detailing advanced option allows you to automatically create the detailing dimensions of the electrode in the drafting documents. So when you're creating the final electrode, you have to make sure to check that off that you want it. Okay. And what that's doing is it's creating those dimensions for you. And because it's creating those dimensions for you, when we go to make the draft document, we can automatically display those dimensions for you. So here we'll run that template. We want that drawing for that electrode. And there you can see the automatic dimensions. Perfect. Okay, next. Let's look at electrode occurrence properties. So in this one, what we're going to be showing you is how to define occurrence properties. So we're, we're copying or making copies of some properties 
from the Topsoil Electrode Library into this sample project to show you how to modify them to suit your needs. So the occurrence of an electrode are its theoretical positions. The new electrode occurrence properties allows you to assign different properties to these occurrences. For example, the number of electrode property for each occurrence, the property can then be displayed in the drafting document and or electrode table. So let's go set the property. Now we can set, or I'm sorry, we're gonna go to the help to learn about electrode properties first. And here we're telling you the names of the specific elements. Okay. And now if we go here and we copy these two modes or these two properties, paste them in here, property for occurrences, and then we can go and edit them. And you can change and copy exactly what you're looking for. Okay. And then once that's done, when you go and define the property inside of Topsoil Electrode, so now we go into here to occurrence of properties. Now you see you have the magazine pot number, the finished mode associated with it, and so on and so forth. All right, electrode eroding area property. This is a, a new feature as well. Um, it's just to be able to define the eroding area as a parameter, and then that parameter can be passed into your setup sheets. So if we take a look, here we have eroding area properties. You can select if you want to automatically update, manually update, whatever, but then you can select on each electrode and it's showing you the areas, okay? And there's your projected area silhouette, the sum of face areas. And then if we go into the electrode properties right from a part, from the contextual menu, you can get that area right there. And then finally, when we go into drafting, we're gonna edit this, sorry about that. We're gonna to go to edit the note and we're going to add that specific property. So we'll go and call it area. And then let's go insert that property. It's from electrode. And then we wanna get the eroding face area or the projected area. Okay, and then once you validate this, and this of course could be set up in your template, now you have that area being passed along as well. Cool. Okay, I believe that's it for the uh, main improvements for top solid electrode. So now let's move on to uh, strip design. So first, I'm just gonna bring this over so you guys can see it. Um, we are delivering uh, via the uh, top solid store an unstamping material library for 715. So any of you using the unstamping module, you can go to the store.topsolid.com and you can download this specific library for use with the FTI module. Okay, uh, the reason we put it on the library is because we're giving it for free. We can't guarantee that it's perfect materials, but it's at least a starting point for you guys. Okay, beyond that, let's talk about station management. Okay, so here I'm just gonna show this with a video. It's a little bit simpler. So with station management, uh, we have two new features, okay? One is to basify the station management, and again, basify means break associativity, and basify cutting operation sketches. They're available in the advanced tab of the station shapes management command. These have been created in order to lighten up the strip file and simplify its design. You can now basify all the station shapes and punching sketches. The operations performed on the shape to strip are not deleted. To further simplify and lighten the file, they can be deleted in the station preparation stage. 
Following the basifying operations, any changes to the strip design must be made directly on the station shape that are grouped together in the station preparation shapes set of the entities tree. Okay, so this video is just showcasing how this command works. And then it's showing you the results in the history tree. And again, the goal is quite simple. When you're building a, a strip layout or a progressive die, sometimes you need to make some modifications, but only locally to one area. And having those items associative can sometimes just make calculation times be too long. So by giving you the power to choose when you want them associative and when you want to break the associativity, again, it just puts you more in the driver's seat for these strip designs. Perfect. Okay, next, strip derivations. So we've added the ability to derive a strip. So in a strip design document, the tools derivations derive part command now generates a strip design document. Using this command can be interesting if the calculation of the merge strip and the strip properties is quite time consuming. In the work strip, you can delete the two merge strip and strip property management operations and then create the derived part from the strip. The merge strip and strip property management operations must be or must then be recreated in this document. It will then be possible to update the derived document in a desynchronized way when it is opened. The original document should be used to create the progressive die and the derived strip should be used for the strip drafting. So there you go. All right, what's next? So in uh, Top Solid Progress, and those of you not familiar with this module, this is like the Top Solid Mold module for uh, split. So this is where you make the 3D design of the progressive die. Uh, this is just a minor little uh, improvement. The pilot symbols included in the strip design document are now transferred when including the strip into the progressive die document. And there you go. Just a good visualization tool. Okay, um, I'm going to bring this over. We spoke about it in uh, shape in the what's new for top solid design, but the angle clearance command for creating angular clearance in pockets has been removed from progress and is now part of the shape tools. It's just as a reminder to the progressive die users out there. And then the last important improvement for top solid progress is similar to what we talked about in mold a little while ago. Uh, this one has to do with progressive die simulation and configuration. So we'll run that video. So here we're going to go create a progressive die simulation. Okay, can make them for each of the groups necessary. And this is going to allow us to create an open tool configuration. That's right there. Okay, just like in mold so that you can analyze for collisions when it's open, you can make drawings of it when it's open. All of this becomes significantly simpler because now we're just capturing that dynamically for you. So of course, there's your animation. And then if we go look at the configuration, we can show it in the open tooling configuration. Okay, cool. So those are the uh, new improvements for electrode strip and progress. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, write them into the question bar. Uh, other than that, this concludes the What's New week of webinars. We hope you enjoyed the 17 webinars we hosted this week. Uh, we look forward to hearing your feedback from what you think of Top Solid uh, 2021 or 7.15. Have a great weekend.